Hello everyone, welcome back to another die cast review. Today we have our first 2024 124 scale die cast in the studio. And of course, it's Alex Bowman's 2024 Martinsville Ruby Red Ally Financial Paint Scheme uh, that he just ran this past Sunday and uh, finished top 10, which is good. You know, top 10 for Bowman, not bad. But then you see... One, two, three is the rest of Hendrix, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. We're just not going to really uh, talk about it. But anyway, Byron actually winning the race, uh, and the race itself was kind of, of a snooze fest, not going to lie. I mean, these cup races, when it comes to Martinsville, aren't nowhere near as good as, like, trucks or Xfinity. I hate to say it, but I liked the Xfinity race better than... The cup race, and why did I not mention the truck race? Well, because it wasn't there for the truck race, but it was there for the Xfinity and cup, and out of those two, the Xfinity had more action, and it was just a little bit better, honestly. So, um, yeah, I thought Byron was going to pull away completely, and then that caution came out, and I was like, oh god, is he going to get it? Is somebody else going to get it? Uh, but no, Byron did uh, come out on top, and got the uh, W for good old Rick Hendrick. So, anyway, enough about Byron, we're talking about Bowman. Uh, but yeah, this is the Ruby Red paint scheme. Now, this is actually the, uh, what is it here? The Advanced Run. I don't really know what the Advanced Run is. Like, if anybody can tell me the difference between the Advanced Run and just the standard ARC, that'd be great, because I really don't know what that is or what that means. It's not an Elite or anything. The, the uh, deck lid doesn't open. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird, so... Not really understanding that for whatever reason, but getting the die cast out of the box here. A uh, very nice car, a uh, nice little color to it. Looks very good. Going to nice or it's going to sit nicely uh, next to the Byron win whenever that gets made. So I can't wait for that. That's going to be good. Uh, anyway, I don't think this car matches the one on track. Pretty sure the one on track was so much more metallic, so much more a liquidy color looking than this thing here. So, I mean, maybe I'll have to take a look at the liquid color if a liquid color does get made for this scheme, which I don't think it's going to be. Uh, but I could be wrong, but I don't think it's going to be. So, if it is for whatever reason, I'm going to have to take a look-see because I'm pretty sure um, th that would be a little more accurate than what we got here. But nonetheless, I want to pop this off of the base and then uh, get the die cast review rolling. So here's the die cast out of the box and um, off the base. So normally I don't really pick up a lot of 124 die casts unless I see them in person. Uh, this just happened to be one of those cases. And normally it's not even me seeing it in person. It's me seeing the race win in person. Obviously Bowman did not win the race. But with it being a special scheme, I saw in person uh, for the one-off race with it being Bowman. You know, my favorite driver. So I figured I just had to pick it up nonetheless. And it would sit... Uh, very nicely, and again, next to William Byron, even though I did pick this up before the race was over. But nonetheless, I actually picked it up before it was started. Um, either way, very cool car. I do like the paint scheme a lot. I don't know if I prefer the purple or the red. for. I, I think it's the same paint scheme, but just red. Um, so either way, very nice. I'm actually going to be picking up at least six 2024 diecasts this year. For, or not, well, not this year, but 2024 diecasts. Uh, because I'm going to be going to five races, and this one I've already picked up, so that count, and that makes uh, six uh, for the year. So I'm going to go to three Talladega ones in the fall. I'm going to all three races, and then, of course, I just went to the Xfinity and the Cup race for Martinsville. So, of course, that makes five. This picking up makes six. So definitely uh, eager to see all those uh, get made or whoever wins. But anyway, uh, on to the actual die cast here. We do have the Ally on the hood. Of course, you got the A. And in the background, you can see a little more of the A's and the Allies and some of that just uh, digitally type design in the background. Uh, Bowman on the front banner. They actually updated the Chevy bow ties uh, on the 124. It's got the little uh, hood vent there. Got the 48, two cameras on the roof, roof flaps to deploy. There's the red I'm talking about. That right there, that is like what I saw on track. So. Maybe it is the correct color, just with the uh, the actual decon over it, it just doesn't really look as red. But, oh well. Al, I do it right. Bowman. Uh, den number 89. 40th anniversary for Hendrick right there. On the back end, of course, we got Ally 
uh, Camaro Valvoline ZL1 48 tail lights. Got these little notched uh, spoiler up here and the Chevy bow tie. Again, no functioning deck lid, which is sad. Does that even like come apart? Yeah, okay. Just the deck lid's so small, it doesn't even go down here anymore. It goes up here, and I never uh, noticed that. So, yeah, uh, pretty interesting. Of course, you got Do It Right uh, right there, HendrickCars.com on that bottom quarter panel. Got the uh, Gen 7 tires, 40th anniversary, Valvoline, Alex Bowman. Let's see, Chevrolet, Alex Elta, Cincinnati Climb, Freightliner, Mac Tools, and Simon's there, Ally 48. Very nice ride. Uh, looks like the hood's kind of popped, which is unfortunate, but you got to do what you got to do. Is it the same on the other side? Yes, that's sad. You can actually see a lot of, uh, a lot of give. Oh, oh, I'm making it worse. A lot of give on that, uh, ooh, yeah, I don't like that. That's not good. Not very much of an advanced run, <laughs> if you ask me, because it's just, quality's going downhill, so, you know, there's that. On to uh, the hood detail. Again, not a whole lot because these Gen 7 cars just don't have a lot of detail underneath in general because that's just what they actually look like. So there's that. Got the little engine block and everything. Chevy, Ally, and Wix right there. So we're actually going to pop open the, uh, the roof flaps and try to get a good little thumbnail here if we, if we can. Of course, we're going to pop that open. Zoom out a little bit and kind of end it on that note. So that is the, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. That is the uh, Ally car for Bowman, which is, again, the 40th anniversary for Rick Hendrick, or the Ruby cars, as they called it, too. Once again, a very nice paint scheme. Uh, I wish Bowman could have won, but, you know, I guess I'll take a, a Hendrick W in person. That is the second time I've seen Byron win at Martinsville. So, actually, it's the second time I've seen a one in general, and they just happen to both be Martinsville in the cup races, and both Gen 6, or uh, Gen 7 cars. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Oh, also, we do have the 40th anniversary logo on the bottom of the uh, the plating for the car, so that's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to uh, pretty much do it for this diecast review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Like me, you will never be in a zone like me. No one will blow up your phone. Like